Today, we are dividing using arrays. Let's try 18 divided by 2. Now, when using arrays, we need to create groups. The number we are dividing by, in this case, 2, is the number of groups we need. 18 is the number we are dividing from, and it's also the number of dots that we need to share equally between the two groups. A bit like this. Now we count how many dots we have in one of those groups. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This tells us that the answer to 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Let's do this again with 20 divided by 2. This time, we create five groups and we have to share 20 dots equally between each group, like this. Now, we count how many dots we have in one of those groups. So we've got one, two, three, and four. So the answer to 20 divided by five is four. Let's try 24 divided by five. Again, we create groups and we share 24 dots equally between each group. As you can see, we can't share the remaining four dots because we'll have one group that is smaller than the rest. So we remove those four dots and can say we have four dots remaining. Therefore, the answer to 24 divided by 5 is 4 remains of 4. Whoa, Manny, that's really impressive. Thanks, Zay. Thanks, Zizi. Hmm, I wonder the kids at home could do that too. Well, let's have a look. Now it's your turn. Have a go at one of the questions below, or have a go at all of them. And bring your working out to, for tomorrow's lesson. Remember, you must use the method that we have shown you today. And any questions that you have, or anything you're not sure about, write it down on a piece of paper and bring those in too. Until then, see ya! Bye!